Let's talk about your work with the Neville brothers. Mm -hmm. You played on Fio on the Bio, mm -hmm. and uh, that's another classic record. Can you go over a couple grooves on that record? Number one is Pocky Way. All right. Pocky Way has been played so many different ways. From the, the Meters had played it. I think they were the first group to record, to record Hey Pocky Way. Mm -hmm. So you want to start out with Zig's and, groove? You know, and Zig, what well, Zig's groove was more of a type of marching type, New Orleans type thing, you know. Much slower too. You know? And that was basically what Zig pretty much played through the whole song. I don't, I can't recall hearing many cymbals or any hi hat mm -hmm. part, but, but it was so funky that he didn't need anything else. Mm -hmm. I mean, Zig can play just a snare by itself without a bass drum, and it's going to sound funky, you know, because he kept he, he keeps his snares tuned real tight, 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 tight. Mm -hmm. High pitch, real tight. I mean, just really popping, you know. And he was getting that piccolo sound off a regular snare before he even started making his flapjack yeah. snares and stuff. Right. So Zig started it. So they asked me to try to update Pocky Way. I said, how you do that? And this is a tr traditional New Orleans song, which goes way back before the meters. It was a Indian chant, we would say, hey, Pocky, hey, Pocky, come, sister, hey, Pocky, come, little daughter, hey, Pocky. So we had all these rhythms was going on, and you get a guy to sing rhymes or, you know, a rap. And more or less, it was a rap back then, you mm -hmm. know? And it was going, hey, Pocky, come on in, sir. You wait, Pocky, wait, da 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 So anyway, it grew and grew and grew and grew, and everybody, uh, well, you, you hear somebody playing that type of rhythm somewhere in New Orleans. You can go left, right, this street, that street. It was somewhere there. You're, it's naturally that you're going to hear it if anybody playing any type of rhythm hanging out. So then the meters came and Zig took it. So I said, well, how can I do anything to hey, Pocky Way without destroying it? You know? So I started thinking about what Zig was doing. So I said, well, okay, by me being having a, a certain technique about my playing and, and have the studio experience, I said, well, I think I can incorporate some kind of hi-hat part or some cymbals or drum feel. I said, okay, the song didn't have any drum feels. You know, I thought of that. I said, okay, that's one down. I said, now, how can I keep what Zig do, did and incorporate some rhythm off the hi-hat? So uh, right in that boot back there, man, I just... Uh. He said, pick it up real fast. And I went... Keeping the same bass drum pattern that Zig right. did, and not as much uh, caters on a snare, more singles, you know, mm -hmm. but still have the cater and feel, you know, instead of doing what Zig, Zig was doing. You know, he kept that that marching thing going, you know, well, I just broke it up. That was enough. I did, I did not need to do anything else mm -hmm. to it because it was going to just totally mess it up. Mm -hmm. You know, and then as 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 we was doing that song, I, I had feels, you know. That's all I did, and it took off. 